Okay, here we got Brian Leary versus Christian Ortiz. We've received confirmation that Christian Ortiz is running Gothitel Gardevoir, and he was on stream before. Wait, so you guys can't hear me? Do, do, I, do I pay any attention to the people in the chat? Because some people are, no, yeah, some people are like, they can't hear me. No, 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 and then, and then I said, uh, yeah, yeah, they can. Because I, I like to hear from anyone I'm not sure what people are like. So annoying. Okay, well, they're setting up here. Looks like he's running Dark Rise. I saw a Dark Energy in his hand. Looks like I saw a Dowsing Machine as well. Huh, will we see Chris, will we see both players with their phones out? <laughs> well, we see Brian Leary going first here. I, I I think it's OT. I think it's OTC. I'm not sure though. And they're starting here. You see a Gothitelle versus a Sock. Mm, interesting choice by Brian here. Oh, wow. Looks like he's running a, some type of Weavile variant. So we see an Ultra Ball for two Darks, which is huge if he runs Dark Patch here. We see an end here. Both people shuffle their hands into their decks and draw six. Looks like Lex D'Andrea, our 2013 Klasinski Open Champion, is going to do commentary next round. Oh, we see two Sneasel on the field here. He's forced to pass as he can't attack on the first turn. We see a level ball out of Christian. Let's see what he goes for. Oh, he goes for another Gothita, looks like.
we get the tropical beach, which allows you to fill up your hand to seven here. He attaches the bench gothita. Oh, uh, um, looks like, yeah, he's going to put it on the bench gothita here. He's going to use tropical beach. Looks like if Christian Ortiz here can get um turn two Gothitelle, Brian's going to be in some trouble. So this might be his one turn to really get some more Pokemon in his hand in order to use Weavile's attack. We see an Ultra Ball here. He might, he's probably going to fetch the, um oh, he's going to fetch an e Weavile, I mean, he's going to fetch a Execute here. Looks like he's just going to Juniper it away. Yeah. Okay, so he draws the Weavile off the Juniper, and here he's going to use a level ball, probably fetching another Weavile here. Okay, well, it looks like he's getting another Sneasel, and he's going to use Christian's um, Tropical Beach to fill his hand up to seven. We are going to see an energy attachment on the active here. And looks like Brian's going to be in a lot of trouble if Christian can get this turn to Gothitelle. But he does not, and he has to end. Wow, looks like he does hit the rare candy Gothitelle off of this. And an ex oh, wow, looks like Brian actually has to read the Gothitelle. For those of you that don't know, it has an attack called Mad Kinesis that does 30 plus 20 for each psychic energy attached to it. So with Gardevoir, that multiplies his damage. So we'll see what Brian can do here to respond. We don't see a Ralts down by Christian yet, so that might play a big role in giving Brian an extra turn to set up here. Also, another interesting part of this deck is going to be if Christian runs the Silver Mirror, which does not allow the Weavile to hit it. So we see a Jirachi using Stellar Guidance out of Brian, which allows him to search out for any supporter he chooses, and he picks N and is immediately playing it. So we see a second Weavile here out of Brian. And the dark energy probably going on in this new Weavile. 
Looks like his hand is just full of trainers and he can't use any of them. Oh, looks like there's a Juniper in there as well. So it looks like, I think I saw an Ultra Ball on his hand as well. So we see an attachment to the bench, Gotharita. Wow, and he just immediately tropical beaches. Looks like he drew a lot of garbage off of that end. Yeah, Brian uses a Juniper here. Hoping to get some Pokemon so he can use Weavile's attack here. Trying. Watch, it's gonna work as soon as you come here. It's gonna work as soon as you come here. Oh. Okay, well we see a chorus for five out of Christian here. Let's see if he can hit a Gothitelle off of this to get a trainer lock and use Mad Kinesis this turn. Well, we see an Ultra Ball in his hand. Anyone's Mewtwo, so this is a really strange deck. We see an Ultra Ball here discarding a Gardevoir and looks like uh, a Psychic Energy. He's probably just going to be getting a Gothitelle here to get the trainer lock off. And he is. The upside for Christian is that Brian needs a total of five Pokemon to discard to knock out Christian's one Gothitelle. And the great part about that is um, he can't get those Pokemon back besides the Execute. So he's he's going to be on a huge disadvantage here. So we see the promotion of a sock here, which won't do um, much damage. We're probably just going to see him um, use the tropical beach this turn. And we see a course for five here. The huge problem I'm seeing for Brian is that since both decks are taking that one-for-one one prize trade-off, going back down two prizes is going to set him a huge way back. But one of the upsides for Brian is if Christian can't get another Gothitelle out, he might end up being forced to attack with that Mewtwo EX on his bench, which will allow Brian to possibly take two prizes. And we don't know if Brian runs... um. Silver Bangle, so if Christian can't get a Gothitelle out, knocking out that Mewtwo just might be a whole lot easier. So we see a uh, Emolga, not seeing a lot of people running that this format, as you cannot attack on it with it on the first turn unless you go second. And we're just going to see a Tropical Beach here. If Christian can just get another if a Christian can just get, like, another Gothitelle, he looks like he's going to be in a dominating position here. Okay, so we see an escape rope here. Gotta question that decision. What was he thinking there? I mean, I would have personally not done that in his situation, 
But who knows? You're playing on stream. There's a whole lot more pressure than you can possibly imagine. So who knows what was going through his head in that situation. See a level ball for an execute, which means he's probably going to be getting it into his discard. This is going to end up playing a huge role as when Gothitelle comes out, it's going to be a lot harder to draw Pokemon. So when he has those execute in his discard, those are, that's an automatic, just a 90 damage that right, right there. So if he can get, if he runs four execute and can get another one in the discard, efficiently, he would just have to not discard one Pokemon each time to knock out the Gothitelle, which would play a huge role in this game. Um, to CF11 basketball, Arjun is in the top four of sen of the senior division currently. I'm not sure he's playing against. Looks like, is he playing against Ian Robb running Blastoise? Oh, okay. Oh, so it looks like Arjun is playing against a Yeti deck, and he's running... Darkrai Mewtwo Bouffant, which is which is a deck that actually did decently well in our area. So here we're going to see a Colrus for, looks like, seven cards. And looks like Christian's retreating to um, give Brian the opportunity to use his trainers is going to play a huge role. Because not only was Brian able to dump all those cards, he was able to get an, another um, Execute in the discard pile. And Arjun is playing Dark Rime YouTube Bouffant. Gothitelle left the um, active spot because of an escape rope that Christian Ortez placed. Wow, we're gonna. St yeah, it looks like a double dark patch. This is huge here. So back to Christian's turn here. We're going to see an energy search for a Psychic here. Going on the other Gothita. So he's already planning to get the two Gothitelle out this game. And I believe he hasn't. Um, he still has a lot of outs to get a second Gothitelle. So here we're going to see a Ralts hit the field. It's a Ralts isn't um, the Gardevoir Ryan probably isn't going to play a huge role in this game. As um, Gothitelle is probably already one-shotting everything in Christian's deck. So you have to question at one point if he has, he has a rare candy and an option to go into a Gardevoir or a Gothitelle. You should probably just go into the Gothitelle. As your Gardevoir line is pretty much not going to make a difference here. So we see an N out of Christian. Will we see a retreating out by Christian to bring up that Gothitelle? Hmm, I wonder if he runs a second Gotharita here. Doesn't look like it. Goes for a Ralt.
I don't think he can retreat Mewtwo for one, as he does not have the Gardevoir out in play yet. So it looks like he's just going to Tropical Beach, and it's back to Brian's turn. And it looks like um, Brian's getting a third possible Weavile outpowered up here. Now we see a Super Rod in Brian's hand. I would personally play this now to get to get back three Pokemon in his discard. Because when, when he's in Trainer Lock, he can't do that, and he needs more Pokemon in his deck. But we're just going to see a straight-up N out of him. Wow, so it's like we, we see the rare we see a rare candy in Christian's hand. We we need to wonder if he has the Gothitel or not. And I'm not sure if he runs Curlia here or, or that might end up making some of a difference. Whoa, Brian has enough Pokemon to knock out Christian's Mewtwo. This might just swing the trade off right back into his favor if he if he's able to KO this Gothitel here. Skyla, hmm, oh, he has the silver mirror here. Now what's going to end up happening is the only attackers possible in this deck now is 20 with Static Shock and 10 with Kick of Righteousness. But you just got to wonder how many turns are both of those attacks going to take. By then, Christian is probably already going to win this match. So we see the promotion of Kamalga. Um, he can't play the Super Rod. Yeah, good thing they caught that. Should have played it before, honestly. But then again, it's always harder when you're on stream. We'll see if um Brian. Oh, he attaches it. Doesn't look like he runs any other crazy possible attackers. Oh, wow, he does run the Curlia. Not going to make a difference in this game, but it's probably going to make a difference in another game or another matchup. So we're probably just going to see him use Mad Kinesis um, for his remaining three prizes, it looks like. I can't properly see how many prizes he has left. Yeah, it looks like Brian's just going to promote the sock here. I mean, it is one of his outs to do damage, but you got to think, how much of an impact is 10 damage really going to do here? And then he's, he, like, let's say even if he does knock out this Gothitelle, which is highly unlikely, unlikely he's still going to be back, he's, he's going to be on the back foot on this trade-off here. Does he, oh yeah, he already attached the Weavile. Wow. We're going to see a dowsing machine out of him? No, we're going to see two Ultra Balls, right? Yeah. Yeah. Looks like Brian scooped this match? Yeah. So we're going to be going on to game two soon. Wow, looks like at one point it looked like once Brian knocked out that Mewtwo, it, it was going to look like the trade-off was going to go in his favor. But wow, Christian just slams down that Silver Mirror and that's all he needed to take this down. I wonder how many Silver Mirror he runs because this might be really scary for Brian as Weavile is his main attacker. Kick of righteousness for ten, just it, it just won't do it. Um, Christian won game one. They're table twelve. Well, it looks like they're at table twelve and they're four one two.
I'll let you know. Okay, well, looks like he runs Sableye, too, so he might see a Confuse Ray actually come into play here. Wh which actually might be huge, because if he can get... If he get that 10 damage plus the 30 from Confusion at that point, if Christian doesn't have two Gothitel, then he's probably going to eventually have to retreat out of it. Okay, also another thing that we're, we might see come into play here is if we see a Confuse Ray out of um, Brian on Christian's Gothitelle, and let's say if Christian doesn't have uh, the Silver Mirror on there next turn, Brian could just go Weavile, and at that point, it only takes four Pokemon for Brian to knock out Christian's Gothitelle. But you really got to wonder how many Silver Mirror Christian plays here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did Brian just opt to go second? Oh, no, it was a mulligan card. Good. Unfortunately for him here, he starts with a execute. You really want, especially in this matchup, you really want them in the discard pile. As under trainer lock, it's really hard to get Pokemon. So you got to wonder if he's going to leave it up there and just sacrifice it so it hits his discard pile. So we're going to see a Juniper. Looks like he discarded a Tool Scrap or in a Dark. Wow. Looks like he just drew a handful of Pokemon, a Juniper, and two Colrus. So he's just immediately going to pass. Not going to play down an Execute or the Jirachi, looks like. So Christian's going to play down a Silver Mirror here. And Brian Junipered away a Tool Scrapper. So um, you don't, we don't know if Brian runs two Tool Scrapper. So maybe Christian... Either has a Juniper, or he knows Brian's counts here. Wait, he does run the Dark Patch. Yeah. Um, we're not sure if Brian runs the one Dark right here, which might play a, a pretty big role. So we're going to see an Ultra Ball or Gothita here. Also, I'd like to point out that um, Christian won game one, and, and when he won game one, it didn't take that much time. It was actually a fairly quick game, so it looks like, if, looks like we, we will um, clearly be able to finish this game, but with 50 minutes, with 50 minutes, like, let's say if Brian wins this game, then in game three, it's probably just going to end up being if one of the decks crap out, or if it's going to be a draw. Now, if... If both players are 4-1-2, and two, as we su suspect, we really don't want there to be a draw here. That will just be, that will be devastating to both of these players. One of these players really just wants to come away with the win and make day two here. I think they're both 4-1-2. So we're going to see a chorus for 5. What? They're 5-2? Um, looks like Brian's 5-2, actually. So maybe Christian got paired up. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm going to go ask someone to go look up the records real quick. So we're going to see a dark patch here, which is going to play a big role. Um, are, are they 4-1-2? and two? We're receiving confirmation. Is Christian 4 1 2? Well, it looks like Brian's 5 2 here, and Christian Ortiz is um, 4 1 2. 
So if Brian loses here, you got to think that that's going to be awful for him. Like even Christian, neither of these players want a loss because they all, both obviously want to make day two. And neither of these players can really afford one right now. So we're going to see an attachment onto the Gothita here. No tropical beach in play. Looks like he has a juniper in his hand along with a psychic energy and a silver mirror. I'm not sure about the Juniper, I'm pretty sure. Oh, okay, so they kept, he, yeah, he kept the Sableye asleep with Hypnotic Gaze. No, he did not play support, and there's no Tropical Beach in play. Gotta wonder if Brian plays any Switch, because if not, this is just a wasted turn where he could have knocked out a Gothito with an energy. Huge tails here. Thanks for the kind words, Chase. Chase is awesome. Yes, we've received confirmation that Chase is awesome. <laughs> so we're going to see a Juniper here. I think I saw a Sableye and a Super Rod in his hand. I don't wonder if he's going to play the Super Rod now, the thinnest deck out of it, or just hope that there's not going to be a turn two Goth to tell. Because turn two Goth, look, oh yeah, yeah, Christian didn't play a supporter. Just me. Um, wow, looks like Brian is just going ahead here and filling up his bench with, with Weavile. It's, you got to think if he remembers... Um, if there's silver mirror, in which case you wouldn't, in, in which case you wouldn't evolve your Sneasels. Yeah, he runs, he runs start. Looks like he runs three. So you you would hope here that he just wouldn't blatantly like evolve all of them. Wow, <laughs> Brian stays asleep again. This, if Brian gets another tails, this might act. Wow, another silver mirror. Oh. If he get if he gets the reckoning got the tell here. Thank you, Alex, for saying I have swag. Wow, dowsing machine for an ultra ball. What? Okay, so he discarded a rare candy, which probably yeah, looks like he has another rare candy. I wonder what's the last card in his hand. Probably like a Tropical Beach or another Juniper. Because you have to think that he wouldn't just leave himself like. Oh, no. Looks like an escape rope. Am I right? Yeah. No, no, no. The last card in his hand is the escape rope. Wow. So Brian does wake up. This is the time where you want to just go with your Confuse Ray. Confuse Ray is going to play a huge role here because Christian does not have the two Gothitelle yet, meaning he cannot use, he cannot get the retreat off. Who? Christian? Um, I think Christian runs Escape Rope over his Switch, so no. Um, the only card in his hand is the Escape Rope, so I see one thing he could do where he retreat, where um, if he gets the Confu, if Brian gets the Confusion flip. Christian could retreat to something and then use escape rope to bring it back up. But I just think that's a waste of energy. Because let's say if Brian doesn't get the flip go his way and Christian KOs him, well then Brian is forced to attack with Sneasel. And that's not typically what you want to do. No, he does not. Um, And Christian has already discarded a silver mirror, if I'm remembering correctly. And it... And... Um, and you gotta wonder, how many does he actually run? Ha, uh, uh, that that's awful. Confused Ray Tails. Oh, Christian has it for the knockout. Looks like it has to, looks like it has to, it has to be Sneasel time. Do we know what his attack does? Um, I think his attack does 20 damage. I think it's, if, if the it does 20 damage, and then if it's a heads, it does an additional 10 damage. 
So the most it can possibly put it on is 40 damage. And that's really just not going to get the job done here. If Christian can just get a second Gothita out this game, looks like Brian is going to be in such an awful situation. Okay, thank, thank you, Eric, for the confirmation here. Hopefully he realizes that he has to go Sneasel in this situation, which looks like he does because he promoted it. I don't think he should scoop here because he's already da he's already um down 1-0 already. So if he scoops, Midas would just play this game out. He's not done by any means. He has to go for the Confuse Ray. Wow, looks like he gets another Tails. That is unlucky here. Oh, we're going to see an end. If we see, uh, um, we're probably going to um, see Christian here starting to set up the new Goth Gothita. Probably evolving into a Goth Reader or putting an energy on it. Looks like he hit a level ball, so we can get... Oh, and he has the Gothitelle, so we can get the Gotharita out this turn and then go Gothitelle next turn. Looks like that's what we're going to see here. Or, yeah. That is what we're going to do here. <laughs> okay, Eric, if you say so, he's that he's lost already. There's always hope. We don't know how many Sableye he runs for the Confuse Ray. We're going to see an end here. 